Hello church. Now today for our midweek encouragement, I thought I would come out and enjoy this glorious weather with you. The sky is blue, the birds are singing. It is lovely out here today. So sorry to all of those of you that are having to work. Now today I want to share with you from Isaiah 58 verse 11, where it says, The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land, and he will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose water never fails. And you see, today we are, have a glorious day. It is lovely and hot out here today, but that is not what we're focusing on today. Because you see, when it's talking about a sun-scorched land, it talks about a land that is hurt, a land that is in pain. And this is what we're living through today. Our land is hurting. It is in pain. There are some horrible things happening in our world at the moment. We have the coronavirus. We have people fighting for justice. And all of this, we can look at it and it can cause anxiety to rise up in us. It can cause fear to rise up in us because we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what tomorrow will bring. We don't know what the right thing is from the wrong thing. And it's a confusing time. So in this time, we can get in a bit of a muddle. But actually, as children of God, we need to stand strong on the promises of God. In this verse alone, there are many promises that we could grab hold of. He promises that he will always guide us. So listen to God's guidance. Listen to what God is saying in this time. He says he will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land. So as his land is hurting, God will satisfy our needs. He knows what we need before we even know ourselves. And he promises that he will satisfy our needs. He promises that he will come through for us. So trust God in this time. Trust him for the needs that you have in these times. He will strengthen your frame. He will give you the strength you need for every day, for every moment. He will equip you with the strength you need. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. You are that garden today, church. You are that well-watered spring, one that brings life, not death, one that is a beautiful and one that just is beyond what you can imagine in today's world. Because you see, you are more than what we see. You are more than what this world will have you believe in this time. But you are somebody that is being led by God. You are somebody that is strengthened by God, that God has supplied all your needs, that he will make you like this beautiful garden, a well-watered spring. One that, as I said, will keep bringing life where there seems to be only death. So church, I want to encourage you today to rise up. I want you to encourage you today to quiet in the voices of anxiety, quiet in the voices of fear, because that has no authority in your life. But instead you rise up knowing that God has gone before. I've said it before, I will say it again, God has got this. He's not left us to figure this out ourselves, but he has got this and he knows where you're at in this time. He knows what you need in this time and he promises that he will equip you. So church, be encouraged, whatever you're facing today, whatever um, anxiety or fears you may have, whatever worries you have in this time, God has got this. God will make you like this beautiful garden. He will bring such beauty into your life. He will make things blossom in your life that may seem dead before because you see God is the best gardener. So church, be encouraged. Rise up. Rise up in faith today. Ask God to help you where you need that strength. Ask him to guide you where you feel that there is only confusion. Ask him just to be somebody that brings hope into your life where there is fear. Because church, we have a God that knows us personally. We have a God that is with us throughout this season. So as our land is hurting, let's be people that rise up. Let's be people that still speak of hope, that still speak of grace, that still act out knowing that our God has gone before, that he will equip all the needs that we have. Because church, we are victorious. We are victorious because our God has gone before us. So church, take encouragement today that God has got this, that we do not need to be people that are fearful. We do not need to be worrying about what tomorrow brings because God has already gone before us. So be encouraged. He will supply every need that you have. He will cause you to rise up. He will cause you to be like that spring that never fails, the water never fails, sorry, so that there is constant life in your situation. Church, God has got this. Be encouraged, rise up and go beyond what this world can tell you you can do. 
Now, and don't forget for those of you that can join us, we have our devotional fire Zoom tonight at seven o'clock. So if you can join us, we hope to see you there.